Peace, blessing, salutations. My name is Yorima Karama here with a segment of Real Life, Real Talk. So real quick, I, this, this segment is going to kind of be short, but I thought that it was a good, I thought that this was really a good teaching moment. And although it's not dealing with relationships specifically, I want to tie this into relationships. So uh, real quick, I posted this on my Facebook page uh, yesterday and just wanted to So it's it's basically a picture of of a brother he's being lynched and the caption reads let me guess I'm wrong for posting the white man's wrongdoings. So anyway that's not the the crux of of the of the issue here. The crux of the issue is this lady, this young lady who who sent me a friend request a few days ago, she she responded, and this is what she had to say. Now, remember, this is on my Facebook page. So this is what she had to say. If you continue to post photos like this, I'm going to have to delete you. Really? Uh, you seem to be a man who uplifts black people. You don't see Jews posting pictures of Jews in ovens. This is heartbreaking. I respond. I post truths in all its realities. Our people need to remember what happened. And the Jews actually discuss anti-Semitic behavior frequently. If you have to delete me, please do. I post truths and realities often, and I overstand. Many just can't handle hard truths. So, uh, but, but how I want to tie this into relationships because, because, uh, and then she goes on, we, we, you know, there's a, the, a another person jumps in and, and it's like, no, our people really don't know all the truth, which is why we need these postings. And, you know, he's basically saying that down in the state of Texas, Black kids believe that we were migrant workers, that we weren't slaves because that's what they've been taught. So he's basically validating, yeah, Urema's right for posting these. But this is this is how I want to tie this into relationships because I see so many men and women who do this. And what happens is, let me say this. <laughs> Your misperception of somebody else is not their fault. It's your fault. Your re, I repeat, I'll repeat what I just said. Your misperception of somebody else is not their fault. It's your fault. And, and, and here's what happens. Here's what happens. And you see it more with you see it a little bit more with women. And no, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to bash women. So don't don't take it there. I, I men do it too. But you see it a little bit more with women. And what tends to happen is that. Basically, people see what they want to see. So she made that statement like, I thought you were a man who uplifts black people as if that post isn't bringing knowledge to black people. So I understand that you wanted a kumbaya moment. In the relationship, you want the house with the white picket fence and the dogs running around it. That's your perception. That's what you want your perception to be. But the person that you're really getting, the person that you're really getting because you clouded your vision because you went on my Facebook page, which means you check my timeline to see what, what, what I was bringing to the table. There's nothing in there that could have led you to believe that I don't make those kind of posts often. There's nothing on there. I'm constantly posting black consciousness. Black consciousness is not just, uh, 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 you know, what happened after civil rights. Black consciousness is not just uh, 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 our, our progressive move forward. Sometimes, and, and, and I think Marcus Garvey says it best, uh, in order to move forward, you have to remember your past. And so I post those type of things. As a matter of fact, when she said that she was going to delete me, I immediately went and posted a lynching 
of a brother in 2010 just to let her know, Queen, what is you running from? What, what type of truth are you running from? This is still happening. So what are you talking about? Uh, but, but what happens is people get in relationships and they see the person the way they want to see them, not the way the person really is. And then they get disappointed. And then before they get disappointed, they, 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 they get on this ego power trip like, oh, I can change him or I can change her. Then when they find out they can't change the person, now they're disappointed. Now they're, oh, you tricked me. I didn't know you were like that. No, you didn't look at the picture. You didn't read the book. You looked at the cover of the book and decided, oh, the cover looks great. You didn't go in the pages. You didn't read none of the chapters. You didn't do none of that. Now you're upset. Now you're mad. Uh, read the book. Read the book. Stop passing judgment. Stop letting your perception be clouded with BS. Stop letting your perception be clouded. And if, you, if your perception is mistaken, if your perception is mistaken, it's not the other person's fault. It's your fault. Your fault. And the same thing with men. They see these females, oh, the body looks great. Oh, man, she slept with my guy, man. I can't, I can't. Come on, man. Come on, man. Wake up. We have to do better. In order to do better, you have to know better. Read the book. Reading the book is reading people too. You need to investigate. So had she really investigated, instead of having her perception clouded, had she really investigated and looked at my timeline, she wouldn't have wasted her time sending me a friend request. Because she would have known this ain't where I want to be. This ain't the page I want to be on. Because this dude is real. Ain't no emasculated males over on this side right here. Yeah, it's men over here. So with that said, I just wanted to bring that man. Men, women, especially young people. Read the book. Don't just look at the cover. Don't just look at the cover. The cover is not saving lives. Read the whole book. Peace, blessings, salutations. Real life, real talk. Yurima Karama. One.